Any trash you have left around, tins, cups, coffee, more coffee, take all of it and put it inside of the janitor. There's no point leaving it in here. It's just going to make an enormous mess. So once you've got rid of all your garbage, the next thing you want to do is clean up all your towels, any dirty clothes, because anything left around is going to get, especially if it's wet, is going to get moldy and mildewy and it's going to stink. So take all that and put it out in your laundry bin where it belongs. Okay, so once you've got all your garbage cleaned up, you're going to want to find everything you need to clean up the bathroom and just get it ready. So you're going to want something to clean your toilet with, something to clean your shower, something to clean all your surfaces and disinfect them, and something so that you don't mutilate your hands while doing it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you actually start cleaning is clean off your surfaces. Now you're going to need something like this, like a disinfecting cloth, and if you don't have one of these, you could use a regular cloth with like a pine cell solution that's been diluted. You want to rub everything down, the sink, Make sure to get in the bowl, especially if you've got hair or toothpaste or anything else like that. In around the faucets are important. Lots of things will build up there. The handles especially need to be disinfected because those will get pretty gross pretty quick. That's the first thing you do after using the bathroom. And the final thing, which I can't do now because I don't have any Windex or anything, is clean off your mirror, especially if there's anything, stains or liquids or anything on it, you want to make sure that all gets cleaned up so your mirror actually looks like a mirror, not just a gross, dirty window. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to clean is your shower. Now the shower is the thing that if you do it regularly, it's going to be a breeze, but if you leave it and only do it once a month just before inspections come around, it's going to break your back trying to clean it. The the mold and the mildew and everything will build up pretty quick and it's really difficult to get rid of once it's there. So you got to do pre preventative maintenance to keep it from getting bad. So what you're going to want is a cleaner such as this. And all of these cleaners have different instructions. So some you've got to spray and then wipe off immediately. Some you dilute with water. So always make sure to read your cleaner before you use it just so you know what you're doing with it. Now, so this one, you want to spray around. Let it sit. You're probably going to want to wipe it around first, but I don't have a cloth, so that's not going to happen. Then you're going to want to take something like this, flick it on, and rinse it off. So if you do that every time you get in the shower or once a week, It'll be a lot easier in the long run than trying to scrub it down after, you know, a month's worth of you and your roommate showering. So the most feared and probably most disgusting, if you let it be, aspect of cleaning your bathroom is your toilet. Now, the it's the same issue as the shower. If you clean it regularly and keep it clean, then you, it'll be fine. If you leave it until it's disgusting and try to clean it, you're gonna have a much worse time. And you want to keep that clean if, like, anybody's coming over, it's embarrassing to have a dirty bathroom, and especially a dirty toilet. Now this one here, as you can see, it's, it could be cleaner, but I've definitely seen worse. Now you'll notice here, that there are stains on the back side of the toilet. That's something that you've got to keep an eye out for because most people usually won't look there and it can get pretty gross. So you want to take something like this, your uh, Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. You just want to sort of spray it around the inside. Just let that soak for a while. 
When that, well that does its job, you can take some more of these cleaning pads. Clean around the inside of the toilet to get all these dirty old stains. Yeah. Same thing down here, like, especially for guys, this can get pretty gross and you don't take care of it, so you want to wipe that off. Get it nice and clean. In around here as well, you get a lot of hair and liquids that people like usually won't notice, especially if your toilet seat's always up. It's always a good idea to make sure you get in around here, get all the dust, get up around the uh, top of the tank. So after this has been settling well, down, grab your handy toilet brush. Yeah, that looks a little better. Still, you want to make sure that it always looks pretty clean because otherwise it's embarrassing. <laughs> Few general tips. You, the floor, we, I can't clean now because I don't have the stuff to do it, but you're always going to want to mop up the floor, sweep up, same as you would the rest of your room. Especially, you get a lot of stuff, a lot of dust, especially in the winter time, lots of dirt and fibers and stuff from your clothes. So it's always going to need to keep that clean. Um, other things, when we talk about cleaning the surfaces, that's every surface in the bathroom. So you want to clean the mirrors, you want to clean everything in here, especially like the shower head can get kind of filthy. If you can see right here, this one's got a lot of dirt and stuff on it. The actual faucet handle, your soap thing, if you use it at all. Even towel racks, if you leave wet towels on them, you good idea to wipe down. Uh, your shower curtain, it's a good idea to keep clean as well. You can actually put these in a washer, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the door handles to the bathroom as well need to be dis disinfected because that's another thing that could get pretty filthy if you let it. Okay guys, so that's it for my video. The, uh, the important thing is to make sure that you maintain it rather than clean it. Because if you keep it clean and just maintain a level of cleanliness, it's much easier than having to do a deep clean where you have to scrub everything down because you have let it get filthy over the course of a month or two. Um, it's, it's really important to keep a clean bathroom because it gives you a healthy environment around you in which to, you know, do your schoolwork and pass all your classes and study all the time. Bye.